All right, it's Damien Prusalendis here, and I want to touch a topic that I'm very often asked about. This question comes over and over again. My life is shit. I do not know what to do. To which I always reply. <laughs> Read a book for an hour a day every single morning religiously. Train martial arts five times a week. Lift weights in the gym three times a week. Now, you may wonder why you need to do those things and how these things will help you make more money. I might get into it later in this video, depending on how long it gets, but I might do a separate video about it. However, I'm speaking from experience when I tell you that these things will help you don't question me or don't ask for my advice. It's that simple. If you ask for my advice, based on my experience, I was broke at 19, had no money, slept in a roach-infected dorm room that had no running water, no toilet. I had to go climb the stairs two floors up in order to go to the bathroom. Imagine living like that in a, in a dorm room that has cockroaches in it, in a single bed with a mattress you picked up from the trash. Just imagine that for a second. And then a year later, having become a millionaire and traveling all over the world from London to Paris, to Dubai, to Los Angeles, to everywhere you want. Assuming you do those things or you don't and you just ignore my advice, then six months later, if you come to me again and you, tr and you tell me, I'm depressed, nothing is working, my life is horrible. What should I do? And I'm like, did you do as I say? Uh, no. Then stand the fuck up and do it. What the hell are you waiting for? I already told you what you need to do, but you didn't do it. Are you waiting for, for an easier answer? Do I have to write an essay to explain myself about why you need to do those things you ask for my advice just trust my judgment religiously or don't ask for my advice just do whatever the hell you want and keep living in the same shit hole that you live in and don't complain about it because i told you what you have to do and you don't do it so i posted that on twitter um a few days ago and i got a response from a guy whom i've seen responding to my tweets quite often his name is Imran and he said that my life was shit too. I did exactly the same since 2017, martial arts book, uh, wait, saw a video and got me motivated. So I started reading. My tie three times a week, lift weights three times a week. Two years fast forward, I have benefited a lot physically and mentally. But this just proves that this works. And this guy won some championship in Muay Thai. Imagine what difference makes to be a champion fighter in your mindset. It makes a huge difference in the way you speak, in the way you carry yourself, in the way other people treat you. I became a national champion in kickboxing in Greece when I was 17 years old back in 2012 and it changed my life immensely. My self-worth went up. Everything. I was so certain about myself. There is little to training martial arts and then perhaps competing and becoming a champion even at an amateur level. Anyway, that's another point here. His concern was that he did those things and he said that he benefited a lot physically and mentally, mostly from training Muay Thai and lifting weights three times a week. And, and then he says, but financially, I don't have much improvement, bro. I wondered, how is it possible to do those things and not have changed financially? It's, it's literally impossible. It can't happen, seriously. If you do those things every single day, particularly the reading books part, it's impossible not to change your life, financially speaking. So I assume there is something wrong with the way he reads or with the kind of books that he reads or he doesn't read religiously, like I said, every day or an hour every morning. I was 99% sure that either he didn't read every day or that the topics of the books he read weren't proper to fix his financial situation. If you just read a book every day and you just read fiction and stories, that's not gonna change your life financially speaking. 
So it's pointless to do it when your goal is to make more money. It's not pointless as a decision itself. It depends. It all depends on the goal, the type of topic, the, the topic of the books you read depends on the goal you have. Right now, I want to become a world champion martial artist, perhaps compete in the UFC. So I read books about fighting, the mentality of fighters, how to be a winner, uh, and study the history and the execution of martial arts so that I can understand them better on a theoretical level because that then turns sense onto the practical level. But the point here is I knew that he either didn't read consistently for an hour a day, the books that he read, the topic wasn't the right one, a combination of both perhaps. Uh, so I replied to him and I said that message me, I will help you out because I've been seeing you read my Twitter for a while. You pay attention. It's inconceivable to stay around me, even digitally, and not get richer. It's your time. And I truly mean that. If you follow my social media, my Twitter, my YouTube, my Instagram mainly, if you have subscribed to my email list, if you read my website, thereonconcord.com, it's impossible to not get rich, to not get on my level one day because I literally share everything I did, or at least most of it. I keep a part of it to myself just to protect myself from random haters and obsessed anonymous maniacs. But pretty much of what you need is there and then the other 10 to 20% you get to figure out on your own. Um, it's, it's impossible to not get rich doing that. But people just don't do it, they're lazy. They don't wanna go through 80 articles that I have on my website or go through 5,000 tweets or just open the phone every day and look at my Twitter, Instagram and YouTube to see what's new. Perhaps one or two people have done this religiously and even if you just half ask it, there are many people who have done that. Like there's a guy who follows me from India who makes full-time income from home working part-time as a freelancer, which is something I've, I've helped him done. And now he's scaling his business to making over $10,000 a month. He's making that money in India. The buying power of that in India is like huge. It's like making $50,000 a month in the United States. It's insane. He's 21 years old and he feeds his whole family. He makes more than government officials with degrees who are 20 years older than him. And just by following part of my advice. So that shit works. Anyway. That guy Imran messaged me and I proposed to him a plan for changing his financial situation that I want to explain to you because I think, not I think, I'm sure it will work for you too if you follow it, if you don't follow it, it's a problem, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. My job as a mentor, as a guide, as a friend or whatever you want to think of me as, is to guide you. I cannot hold your hand to success. I cannot do it for you. I can tell you what I would do if I were you. I can tell you, I will give you the exact same advice I give my little brother. But it's your responsibility to act on it. It's my job to teach you. 50% of my job is to teach you and other 50% is on you to be teachable. I'm sharing this with you right now. I know that most of you are lazy fucks and are not gonna follow this, but perhaps there are a few people who are genuinely determined to do this and to change their lives, so this is for you in particular. So, one hour a day, every morning, have your book with you always. If you think it's inconvenient for you to have a book always with you, um, then get a Kindle device. You can have all your books in there. That's what I did in the beginning or you can have them on your phone or whatever works for you. Just have it with you in some way. I don't care how you do it, just do it. The reason you have to do that, besides from reading one hour every day, sitting on your sofa or your bed or whatever you want, you have to utilize dead times during your day when you're commuting, random waiting times when you go to the doctor and just have to wait for 30 minutes. Take your book out and read. If you do that, if you read an hour a day every morning and you have your book with you always to utilize your dead time, then you must be able to go through four books a month at minimum in that pace, even if you're a slow reader. Secondly, the topic of books. If your goal is to make money, 
which I assume for most of you it is. Don't read anything that doesn't have to do with making money. It's that simple. Why the fuck would you read philosophy when you want to make money? Yes, perhaps you might get some advice that could indirectly impact your finances, but it's unlikely or it's more unlikely that you have to sit down and reflect on that advice and think about how it can help you financially. Don't do it, just not worth it in the beginning. If you're broke or if you make anything less than $10,000, don't read anything other than making money. Books about finances, how to get rich. Yes, they work. It depends on the book, obviously, but I'm gonna recommend you some books that I know that work and have been proven for me and others. There is a list, it will either be uh, below in the description or somewhere, if this is blog post in the future, you will see a list somewhere below or over that post, video, whatever. There will be a list of 12 books that made me a millionaire at age 20. So start with these. These are just 12 books. If you go through four books a month that pays that will last you for three months. If you go through these books, then DM me, message me, or send me an email. You can find me my contact information on my website there on congo.com, or you can just message me on some social media platform, and I will give you more suggestions if you go through these 12. Now, these are two things. Doing it every day and utilizing your time, and then the current books you read, which I've already saved you time from researching and finding the right books, and losing time reading things that, things that don't help you. The third, all that information that you put in is pointless if you don't execute on it. It's literally pointless. Reading is only good if you take that input and use it as fuel to produce some output. Otherwise, it doesn't do anything to you. Books won't magically save your life. They merely give you direction on what you need to do based on somebody's proven knowledge that they've derived from personal experience. A book is like the key to unlock a door. You won't be able to unlock the door without a key, or you might find a way, but you'll probably break the door or make it, which is a metaphor for making a huge mistake, and then having to replace the door, it's a mess. A book is the key that will unlock the, the door effortlessly for you, but you have to actually pick the key up from the ground and put it in the door and then turn it in order to unlock the door, otherwise it won't uh, unlock itself, which is a metaphor for taking the information, the key, and then executing, turning the fucking key, or nothing will change. In order to do that, you have to do it very methodically. And the way I suggest that you do it, that's how I do it. Have a note by your side every time you read, just cost one fucking dollar. A notebook and a pen and note down ideas. You will get ideas when you read. And a ton of ideas. I get so many, I cannot execute on any of them. So um, I've developed a, an instinct, a sixth sense, after all that reading I've done, in order to only note down the ideas I know will have the biggest impact on my business. But in the beginning, just note down every single idea that comes, um, that comes to your mind when you read. All right, this is like an action plan for the book. Note them down immediately, don't wait for later, you will inevitably forget them, I guarantee you that. When you finish reading, start executing on those ideas. Read for an hour, it's just enough, you don't need more. You don't need to inundate yourself with information. Even an hour is too much. So just do that and then start executing on it. And I will close this video with this. Think of your life as a car. You're here right now, the car is parked in some parking lot and you want to get to your final destination, which is a 10 hour drive away from you. What do you need to go there? You need fuel. Your brain is like the engine of the car. It needs fuel to operate. Some learn from life experiences other people learn from observations, other people learn from mistakes. I prefer books because they guarantee that you never run out of fuel and that you never use the wrong type of fuel. If you take a car 
that needs gasoline and then you put jet fuel in it. You know what will happen? The engine will be destroyed or the car might blow up. Which is a metaphor for if you're taking the wrong information, your life is fucked. You're, you're gonna make critical mistakes that not only gonna slow you down, but might even prevent you from succeeding altogether. You have to be very cautious of the information you let get in your brain. You ask me for advice, I'm giving it to you. If you don't like it, well, I cannot do anything to save you and nothing, nobody else can do anything. It's your responsibility to change your life. This is what I propose. If you don't wanna do it, fine, just be content that you're gonna be living an average existence until you die. If you do, as I said, for a year, it's impossible to not get financially free. Impossible. On top of that, follow my Twitter, read it every day. My Instagram as well, watch my stories. Take a look at the captions of the posts I share. I always have advice in there. My blog, darrenconquer.com, I write articles there as often as I can. And my YouTube channel as well for inspiration through lifestyle videos, updates on what I'm currently doing. Perhaps there are new opportunities for you. Sometimes I wanna bring opportunities to my audience, to people who are ready to take them and perhaps partner up with me which will dramatically accelerate your success. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. My email list as well, subscribe for the DarrenConger.com blog. And that's all you need to do. If you do it for a year, it's impossible to not change your life. But as I said, it's truly your responsibility to be teachable. It's my responsibility, 50% of it, to teach you and show you the way, but the other 50% is entirely on you and nobody else is coming to save you unless you save yourself. It was Damien Prosalendis for the Damien Prosalendis YouTube channel and I'm out of here.